been barrassed by that performance in the first half. Every single one of you is, is failing to hit the standards that you've set for yourselves. The lot of you need to step up every aspect of your game. You're standing still looking at each other, hoping someone's going to pull a result out of their ass. It doesn't happen. You have to go out there and earn it. Don't come out of here without having to think about how you're going to change it. Just got to training. Hopefully a good session. Hopefully a fiery session. I need to get back straight away. I need to get my first start. I'm not started in a while. Injuries keep setting me back, but yeah, feeling good. Uh, Energised, ready. And yeah, hopefully a good session, man. Oh. The only thing that's stopping us is I, I've, we've got so many like red cards and that. Injuries. Who is? Kid hell. 60. Crossbar. Yeah. The Dublin trio. The two minute taxi trio. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I reckon over over about 30 metres I am fastest in the club over 30 metres I reckon I actually am let's have it let's have it right now Silly that. Yeah, that's good, that one, you know. No keeper. That's a good one, that you know. Bro, because the keeper, there's no way in the earth the keeper's getting down that time. Bam, session done. Good session, I can't lie. Boys were ticking it. I felt a bit low on confidence first 20 minutes, but I've got to give props to Norsa tonight. He actually proper helps. Give me a bit of a confidence boost, and yeah, pretty much that is exactly what I do on a Tuesday. Just a nice, chilled session. See you guys Saturday if I'm selected, obviously. So, yeah, peace. Welcome back to another highlights video of Stretford Paddock. Today we are playing Main Road Reserves. It's a bit like a United and City derby, isn't it? Kind of. I'm sure it'll be close. I'm sure it'll be feisty. Let's get stuck into it. How'd you feel, mate? Debut. Big nice. debut for today. It's all right. And it's you guys' Main Road as well, so it's City fans, isn't it? Yeah. Don't like City fans. No, no one does. But Martin's a City fan, though, isn't he? Yeah. Nah, yeah. Something enough, it? Yeah. Yeah. Get in. Yeah. I think you deserve it. You've got to just put your. Yeah, you got Michael Oates in front of you, haven't you? Take so. the chance while oh, no, you can. That's what I mean. That's yeah. Took me long enough to sometimes get in. One of them's dropped out, so I've just got to perform now. Nah, I've got a new celebration. We're pending. Fucking new celebration. Can't be bad at your last one. Do all that shit. Like, I can't do my celebration. Hit them with a the pie today. The pie. <laughs> I can't do that. Do a good job. You can't. If you score today, Carl, what are you gonna do? You never know. You actually never know. I don't really celebrate, it's just a fucking like, little thing and I'm more. Reckon off. 100 to 1 for him to score. For me to score? 100 to 1, yeah. I put a little quid on that. Free bet. Knee side if you score. I'd be all over it. Nah, I'm not on this, that. I have a fear. If I knee slide on this, I'm bouncing over. Um, it's going to be one of them shit knee slides. Big win today. I'm going to go for a uh, prediction. Prediction 6 0 Paddocks. What do you reckon, Joe? 4 0. Oh. 4 0. 4 0. This isn't about being perfect, this isn't about whatever. This is about we have a way that we are playing, stick to it. If it fucks up, it fucks up. Guess what? We go again. Because we will get over the halfway line in possession more often than not by doing it this way. The alternative is we fucking twat it long and they're in the footnotes, right? And I'm not doing that, okay? If they're a heavy press on us, Martin, what do we do? Long, long. <clears throat> Just go long direct and then we do that two or three times and then they'll start edging off us. Oh. Basics. Defensive principles. Plus one. Plus one. Yeah? Detail on your passes. The energy in here is fucking worryingly flat, lads. It's you're fucking United versus City, innit? Talking, yeah, fucking get on the mixer. Talking, it's not, it's energy. I'm not talking about noise. I'm talking about energy. Oh, Oi, lads, on your fucking feet. Come in here. United versus <laughs> It fucking is though, isn't it? It's not. <laughs> 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 I'm the one 
Oh, so let's go. Go up, man. I don't like football, man. Listen, first fucking hit, make sure it's a big one. First fucking tackle, make sure you celebrate it. Get in your face and fucking intimidate them, right? Let's fucking go, like, come on. Right then, here's the starting eleven that I'm going with today. Martin, as usual, in net. the back four is Richie, Mikey, Oates here. And we've got a debut for Callum Blanchard from the 21s. Midfield is Zach Janeiro and Nosa. Up front, Callum returning from injury, Gav and Ronaldo. Pretty stacked bench as well today. You'll be seeing that a little bit later on. Gav and Nosa get us underway. Back to Janeiro. And there is Callum. And there's the bench. Main row playing it forward. And he's sent it back. And he's put himself in danger there. Good pressure there from Nosa. This lad had a lot of wheels. You can see Callum's trying to deal with him there. Just needs to delay him. Get in front and delay. He's done that. They've slid it across. And it's a comfortable-ish save for Martin. Where the fuck was the midfield tracking that? That was a nine. Ball goes forward there for Nosa. It's still in the air. Nosa gets hold of it. Can he play it through? Knocks it through there for Callum. Callum goes through. Can he get a shot off? Gav gets a shot off, but it's right at the keeper. Good football there from Paddock. Opened them up nicely. Could have done a little bit better with a finish. Sun's right in our eyes here, and it's, it's difficult even to film. This nine, some pace on him. Callum's done well there. Excellent tackle. They just keep the ball in. And Ronaldo looks like he might have given away a foul there. Yeah, this striker for Main Road is going to cause a lot of teams' problems, I think, this year. Real fast. It's whipped into the far post, and two of them miss it. And the calmest man on the pitch is Martin Flanagan, who doesn't look like he cared a jot for that. Going in again here is the nine. Can he play it forward? He plays it forward. And it's dealt with by Oatsy. Real nice there as he sends it forward. It's Ronaldo. Ronaldo, can he go past his man and get into the box? He gets a cross. It goes there. It's set back from Gav. Hits no, sir. And... 1-0 Stretford Paddock, well done lads. Fucking flat and shit, yeah. Let's have a look at this again. Ronaldo gets his head up, early cross. It's an excellent setback from Gav, just one touch. Perfect for Nosa, who slots it in home. It's an excellent finish, that. Keeper was close to it, but Nosa's put it right in off the post. 1-0, up the Paddock. Good block there from Mikey. Can Paddock get on it? Janeiro plays it forward. It's in for Ronaldo. Can he get to the byline? He's gone past his man. He's on the byline. Can he get a cross in? There's Janeiro. Gav sets it back again for Nosa. He goes to try and play Callum in. But it's on the break now with Main Road. And that's offside. That is, that is feet offside. Daylight offside. He goes around Martin. And he puts it in. I wasn't happy. And yeah, as you'll see on the replay, it was that far. Shut the fuck up with Clay! So fucking tell him! You'll see this, the camera isn't perfectly on the halfway line, so there is a bit of an angle to account for, but you'll see this in a second on the replay. Absolutely miles off. Fucking joke! Yeah, the ball is played now, and you can see right there, he's absolutely miles off.
And he slots it home nicely. I mean, the kid's got wheels. The kid has got wheels, but he was he was off. Simple as that. There's Callum, sending it left to Mikey. Has he got a switch in him? He tries to find Callum, and it's not won, but it's pressed by Nose, who steams into the box. Can he get a cross in? He does. Might be a shot, actually. It's saved by the keeper. Gav's underway. He's pressed him. Zach's there. What can Zach do? Can he find someone? Ronaldo's there. What can Ronaldo do? Tackled. Can he win it back? He gets it away. And Main Road are on the attack with it. And it's gone into the box there. Callum, can he go around the keeper? And I think the referee gave offside for that. So he does know what offside is. But I'm not actually sure that one was off. Difficult to see from there. Not the greatest clearance there from Callum. Ball comes back a little bit. There's Gennaro. What can he do with it? He's going to hit a switch. That'd be for Ronaldo. Ronaldo's in there behind his man. Can he get to the byline? He comes in inside instead this time. He's going to shoot. He does shoot. He's dragged it near post. He doesn't shoot enough, Ronaldo. So I'm pretty happy with that. He was decisive. So it's a good effort. Still one all. 15-ish minutes left to go in this half. Playing some nice football. They had a couple of tasty little players, Main Road. And there is another offside. Which is turned away. 2-1 Main Road. Another offside. I'm actually more annoyed at Mikey not picking up his man up here. That lad follows it in. If Mikey follows it in, he just puts it out for a corner. And the offside doesn't really matter. As you'll see there, he's feet in behind Oatsy. Comes off the post. And this lad's just able to slot it home because Mikey's not followed his man in. you got to follow those in. you got to keep your head on a swivel and follow that in. You don't know what's going on. Can't play for the offside. You've got to play at a whistle. Here's Oatsy. 45 on the clock. Might be blowing up here for half time now. And it is half time. I don't know how much they're going to leave in the edit for this, but I wasn't happy at half time. And you're going to see that in a minute. I am fucking embarrassed by that performance in the first half. And if you're not, you're fucking wrong. Every single fucking one of you is, is failing to hit the standards that you fucking set for yourselves. I don't set your fucking standards. You lot do. And you fucking failed to miss them in a big fucking way today. You're being out fucking work. You're being out talked and you're being out fucking fought. I don't have to fucking tell you constantly to claim for offsides. Half of the fucking reason you get an offside is one, the guy is offside, and two, you fucking ask for it. That was six fucking feet offside. If you lot lose your melon at the call, he doesn't give it. But when you lot keep fucking playing, he just fucking goes, well, everything must be sound. And the second time it happens, you didn't learn from the first fucking time. The reason the second one happened was because you don't fucking do what you're supposed to do. You're not, you're all supposed to be plus one. They've got midfielders fucking steaming into the box because you lot are fucking working. Defending is a team sport. It's not two centre-halves and a goalkeeper. It's a fucking team sport. There's one change at half-time. And that was a planned change. And I don't want to fucking do it because Gav is the only one I can fucking hear. That's hockey coming on for Gav. He's the only one I can hear fucking talking. So if he's off, who's going to fucking talk? The lot of you need to fucking step up every aspect of your game. You're controlling it to goal rather than moving it into fucking space. You're playing long, hopeful balls rather than finding the short one. We did a drill the other day in training where we said, as soon as someone's in possession, one person goes short, someone move in front of him. You're fucking standing still looking at each other, hoping someone's going to pull a result out of their ass. It doesn't fucking happen. You have to go out there and fucking earn it. And today you ain't earning it. These are fucking shite and they're making you look worse. It's on you lot. Lift yourselves and fucking sort it out. You've got five minutes or this lot are going to come on. Whether it's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to fucking do. Because you lot out there ain't fucking doing it. Don't fucking come out of here without fucking having a think about how you're going to change it. We're relying off sides every week. 
And you know who bails us out of shit though? Gaff State. Gaff State. Nah, nah, nah. Michael. That's, that's dumb, nah. Michael's sprinting. No, Michael's sprinting. I'm the only one who's talking yet. I'm getting shit off. That makes no sense. Get that rich. makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was fucking miles. Fucking he do, bro, but regardless, regardless of the end, he's not going to give. He's not going to give. Boys, boys, boys! There's too many. Right. I don't care what's what's happening in the first half. Right. It wasn't good enough. Regardless, they were offside. But that's regardless because we're not plus one. We're not defending the second ball. The defensive principles come before the offside. If we're not doing the defending and we're working as a unit, it don't make a balance. Come on, come on, lads. Come on. Come on. Come on. And it doesn't help. Playing shit, we know it. Let's fucking start scratch. Start fucking scratch now, yeah. Score, get some goals. And Are you ready to explore independence, creativity, and endless possibilities? Look to Ten Trade, the proud sponsor of Stratford Paddock FC this season. Discover their all-in-one trading ecosystem. Learn with Ten Academy's free online courses. Experience exceptional trading conditions. Join today to trade with confidence in FX, in commodities, and stocks. Your potential is limitless, just like the number 10. Visit 10trade.com to start your trading journey now. And don't forget to cheer for Paddock FC. Right, we are back out for the second half. The one change then is Oki on for Gav. There's Callum. Keeps hold of it. Nups inside. It's tackled, Otsi sends it forward, loses it, wins it. Here is Akira driving forward. A little bit of a heavy first touch, somehow come away with it. Links it all with Mikey. What's Mikey got? It's a good tackle that. Good tackle that, got right on the ball. That one though, that is a foul. He's took Nosa out and it's a penalty to Paddock. Opportunity to get back. Level A, Nose is going to take the penalty that he's just won. Good penalty from Nosa, please. And he's put it bottom left corner. Keeper gets close to it again. But so far, it's Nosa too. Keeper nil. So look at that, it's a great penalty this. It's right in the cheek of the goal. He's done well there, well done. Good press in there from Ronaldo. And it's decent playing out, but Cal has won it as he drives into the box, drives past his man, crosses it. It's clear for Rocky. And I don't know what's happened there. And I put my house on Rocky burying that. Looks like he's hit it straight into the ground. Yeah. There's no pressure on him. All he's got to do is win. Mike coming on. Mikey coming off. Moving Zach to. This, right back. They rode on the attack and it's in the hands of Martin. Launches it upfield. Camera is getting nailed by the sun. Oki's through. Callum has a shot. I think it was a shot. Fuck me, lads. We just don't want to win it, do we? Fuck it. May Road on the attack. Ellis being busy. May Road back on the attack. Straight to Paddock. Ellis doing a little bit of ratting that nine again on the ball. Problematic he was. Good through ball. What's he got? Richie as he's hidden by Ronaldo, but he's nowhere near the ball. And he's given a penalty away. Twelve minutes left in the game. And Main Road have a penalty. Come on, Martin. That he saved it! Come on! Do you know what? Good it is to have a keeper you can rely on like that. Martin's been there time and time again this season, and there's another moment, crucial moment, and he steps up with a big save. Excellent. Wasn't the greatest of penalty, but it doesn't matter. You've got to get them saved either way. We're still in this. Ten minutes to go. Can someone find a little bit of magic? Cross comes in. Zach's up. Oh. Straight at the keeper. First fucking time we connect. 
Gennaro, you get on the turn. You play forward. He sends it up. Here's Callum. Can he get forward, beat his man? He's coming inside. Zach's gone around the outside of him. What's he got ahead? He plays through Ellis. Oh, it's just a little bit too far. Oh, keeper nearly made a balls of that. Ellis has been doing this since we uh, since we signed him. Just getting in front of the ball from midfield. The energy is ridiculous. Here's Joe Coleman. And Mikey's coming on as well. Main road on the ball. Four minutes left on the clock. Plus injury time. Mikey wins it to Cal. Cal plays it forward. Akira's in. He's got a couple in the box. Can he do anything to get past his man here? Dude, one goes down. He's one past one. He's past two. Can he find someone? He finds Cal. Oh, Callum, it's the weakest shot I've ever seen, lads. I hate football. Time for Gabby to come on. 18 and a half minute, plus injury time, of which we think there'll be a few. Has he got a moment of magic in him to make something happen? Main road keeper sends it forward. It's a paddock head, Wyotse. On to Gabby. Gabby's on the floor. It's picked up there by Ellis, ratting as usual. He finds Cal. He doesn't find Cal. Main road on the attack. And Joe put his rugby yeah, Joe, skills to use there Joe. that is what we call a sensational tactical foul and I'm here for it all day that's what you call playing with your head that is a yellow card I'll have no qualms paying £12 to Manchester FA don't mind if I do that's a foul throw we'll have that for a start main road on the attack have they got something to whip in there's the nine very good player goes past one and he's brought down by Callum on the edge of the box that's, I'm more nervous about this than I am with a penalty you know I don't know why. 90, he's up. We're in injury time. He shoots. And it's a great save again by Martin. Big moments. Big keeper. He's had a massive hand. Pardon the pun in this season. Oatsy to throw it into the box. Free header for main road. Callum's on the ball again. He gets a shot off. And he's dragged it. We are deep in injury time. Another throw. Can we get someone on it? It's a better throw this time. It's turned. It's on hockey. Can he get a shot off? Turn. Shoot. Shoot. He does shoot. It's blocked. It's... Oh. It's handball. I mean, it hits his shoulder, but he's given handball. I'm, I'm, I was calmly explaining that for the referee there. Here we go. Joe. Lofts it forward. Main row send it straight back. It's straight back to Joe. What's he got? He finds Ronaldo. Get over the halfway line. Get the ball forward. We need one more chance. Ronaldo. Finds no sir, no sir. Turns his man, brilliant. Find him. Oki, shoot. Go on, shoot. And he did. Gabby Fernando on the six-yard line. 99th minute. Nine minutes of injury time, and Gabby has won it for Stretford Paddock. What a goal! Oh my god. Absolute scenes here. Incredible finish. We've been pushing and pushing and pushing, and we have not played well today. But we are coming away with all three points. Nine minutes of injury time. That's why you keep going till the fat lady sings, because that was absolutely sensational. Let's have a look at this here. No, sir, brilliant skill. Gets the ball off. Akira could have shot, and he maybe thought about it, but Gabby's right there on the periphery, and he's got an open net. All he's got to do is pass it home, which he does. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And you, as you can see what it means to the players there, we knew we couldn't drop points here today. Oaks is all over the show on the floor. Everyone's jumping up and down. And you know what? The game isn't even finished. Now we're in the 10th Stop minute up. of injury time. Aftab's coming on to help us Stop. see the game out. Hopefully no, nothing too much so dramatic to go on here. But a big cuddle there for Nosa. He had a good game. He was unlucky not to be man of the match in this one. Corner though. And the keeper's up here for main road. Surely no more last minute drama. The ball goes in. He sent it a bit long if anything. It goes out the back door to the nine. Aftab's chasing. He gets a great tackle in. Can he send it forward? It's not gone forward. The referee blows his whistle. And that is full time. Stretford Paddock come away victorious over Main Road Reserves. And I think they've had a new team and a bit of a refresh because I'll tell you what, totally different side to the one that's been uh, been in the league so far. But that's what it means in the table. Three points for Paddock puts us on 29 after 12. We are three games in hand on league leaders Clay Brow with nine points, which means if we win all of our games...
we would be level. However, we've got West Bridge, Disbury and Charlton to play Tuesday night in the league. And then we go to Clay Brow. And we'll find out what everyone is really about in this league. That will be a massive test. If we can avoid defeat or even win, that could be huge for us. But today is all about the win against Main Road. Congratulations to that young man there, Callum, on his debut. Brilliant effort from all involved. Well done to Gabby and Nosa for getting on the score sheet today. Big, big performance that. And that man there, Martin, who I think might have been man of the match in, in today's circumstances. But big shift there. Great attitude from the lads in the second half after they got a bit of a bollocking at half time. On to Tuesday night, where three points again is all we can take away from that game. We'll see you then. I, I, didn't, I didn't know if it was coming because we had chance, we had chance, we had chance. But to just like trust that it is gonna come, massive, massive. Like made it difficult, but yeah, I know we just we just kept kept pushing, kept pushing. Uh, we just trusted that we'd we'd find the winner. So it, it's it's massive for them to know that you just dig deep, keep going, keep pushing, and it'll come. And Martin as well. And Martin as well. Like from the back, commanding, kept pushing. Every everyone putting in, putting a shift. Just dig deep. Showed each other that you fight for one another, and uh, and it will come. It was 11 individuals first half. If you look back, there was no one fighting for one another, and then came out second half fighting, and it, and it reaped the reward of it. Like everyone working working together, um, push for the winner. And like I say, it was player, 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 goal. They they, they knew they, they knew themselves that it wasn't good enough. They knew that it was poor. Um, and the frustrations were getting onto the pitch, but they knew they had to come out and be an actual team. Well, and some of that we've worked on massively this year is being a team and fighting for one another. And uh, it showed in that second half. And the celebration at the end, just look at that. Everyone fucking loving it. Game of two halves. Do you want to just sort of give us your thoughts on the match? I don't know if it was a game of two halves, to be honest. I thought we were two poor. Two different teams. In I, th I thought we were poor uh, in both halves, and I thought we made far more of that than we needed to. And this all starts in the warm-up. I can tell, and us as a coaching staff can tell, when the warm-up is flat, when the energy is flat, I told Nose in, the, in, the, uh, in my team talk before the game, I can see the energy in us, and that translates. Every time we have a, a flat warm-up, it translates into a flat match, always. So the players need to recognise that and take responsibility for, for ensuring that's there, because I, I arrived sparked up, ready to go. Uh, and the lads need to know that they have to arrive sparked up ready to go for every single game you can't walk into any game and just take it casual like we did today or we very nearly dropped a massive two points we talk about wanting to win the league we're going to need to be almost flawless to do that and and that doesn't include having poor performances the way we did there we had chances we weren't clinical we didn't dominate the ball the way we normally do we went a little bit that we were just poor we made poor decisions all day long um I don't like talking about referees, but the only reason that that was a, was a close game was because of the referee. I don't know about the second one, I haven't seen it clearly enough. I felt like the second one was offside, but the first one was six or seven feet offside, factually. Like, that's the whole reason we've had to end up fighting. And I know Aaron's going to say, you, you, you keep fighting to the end like that, it's got a good psychological impact. And yeah, winning in the last minute, the 99th minute, is, is a fantastic sort of lift for everyone. But the lads need to recognise, not good enough, not acceptable, and won't be playing if they put in that sort of performance in the future. It's sort of, for Paddock, this is the closest thing we've had so far in Paddock's history to, to a derby. Did it feel like that today, going into it? Well, it's, it's Main Road's res, isn't it? So um, it's not quite Main Road first team, obviously. I think they've been established since the 50s. But they're a supporters club, they're a Manchester City supporters club. So they're almost what we are in terms of a Manchester City one and, and a Manchester United one. So yeah, I, I'd like to think of this could be a derby for us, especially in the future as we're going on. I think we can get to main road first team level and I'd like to see how we compete with them. Uh, we put a showing like it that we did today though, we'll get absolutely snowed. Difficult run of fixtures upcoming, we've got a midweek game. Um, how does this sort of affect that? Does it sort of make things a bit harder or do you think this makes things a bit better? Well, we had a very good 11 that I didn't select today. So I've got great squad depth, um, but the 11 that I couldn't select today probably beats the 11 that I did play. We could have had Nick Culkin, Eddie, Omar, Michael, Tommy as a back four, um, Cam, Dom, KO'd as a midfield three, 
Joa, Kieran, and Ryan as a forward three. It's a great 11. It's an 11 that probably wins the league in this division. And that's in our squad and not available. So it's about just getting the best team out that we can get out every single week and will cause problems for people. The game on Tuesday, I'm making some changes because I wasn't happy with the attitude and application of a few. Um, you'll see on Tuesday who that is. Amazing, thank you. Real fan ownership, real fan input, real fan change, real fan power. 50 plus one, we can go better than that. 100 plus none. Download our app, view the free content, read about the club, that's fine. But if you want more, become a member to vote, to go behind the scenes, to make an impact, interact with a global community around the world, influencing how we grow, where we play, club ethics and values. The more members we have, the faster we grow. Support the club, run the club, own the club. This is ours and no one will take it away. The future is in all our hands.